Okay, welcome back to Physical Science Online. Uh, today is a demo day, but I didn't want to do this demo every single hour, so I just made a, a video. Uh, hopefully this will also help out the uh, students that happen to be absent for any reason as well. So we might start seeing this a little bit more often. Today's demo is using a vacuum chamber. So real quick, because I want to do this in two videos. The first one's the demo, the second one's the explanation. Um, vacuum chamber is just a vacuum pump that pumps air out of my chamber. And I'm going to do three different things in my vacuum chamber, hopefully in these five minutes. The first one um, is a what I call a sad balloon. This is a balloon. It's just not very blown up. I'm going to place it in my vacuum chamber, and we're going to see what happens. That's our, our first video today. So turn on, and it'll get a little noisy, and you're not, well, not going to be able to hear me very well. So vacuum chamber once again, removing the air. That's all that's happening is we're removing the air from inside of that chamber and the balloon is growing. Then I turn my pump off and the air slowly comes back in because the system's not fully closed. So the air is slowly coming back in and I can actually speed up a little bit. The balloon goes back to its original size. So there was our first demo. Second demo, I have uh, some shaving cream on a little plate up on here. So it's just a uh, regular shaving foam from the store. We're gonna see what happens to that on, as we remove some of the air. So kind of the same thing, it kind of expanded as I removed the air from inside of this chamber. And now that it's slowly going back in, it's now compressing again. Let's see if we can get go a little faster so we can get to our third one. Basically, I'm trying not to go too fast because it makes a mess if I spill it. There we go. And we don't want any messes, that's for sure. So here's my last example. I'll even do two of them just to, to be kind of cool. These are regular marshmallows. Uh, they're kind of old and stale, so I wouldn't have let anybody eat them even if you were in class. But they still are going to get the point across. Turn my vacuum chamber on one more time. Letting this one go for a long time so you can see how impressive it is. You can't see it very well, but they look like those giant marshmallows for those giant s'mores now. And then these ones I can go pretty quick with actually. So let's see. And just because of the nature of a marshmallow, they don't quite go back to their original shape. Some of those, some of those air pockets inside the marshmallow did break. It's not quite back to its original, but it's really close. Um, I got some time, so I'll do one more of these because this one's really cool. Just to show you, sometimes they can get even bigger the second time around. And then after this, uh, go to the second video to get an explanation of what's going on here. 